Where are the eggs of monsters most likely to be laid? What nest incubates them until they hatch? What are the toxic scraps that nourish them to adulthood? Indeed, you may be asking your own questions, such as, who are you? My real name is irrelevant, but for this, however, you can call me Cronus. Do I think I am a god? Don't be absurd. Such arrogance tempts fate, such hubris mocks the gods, and I have never been guilty of that treacherous sin. I remain, however, one of those rare beings to appear on earth once a generation or two. How else would you explain that long before the storm was began in my head, hatred was my very first memory and wanting to kill was my very first desire. Soon enough I grasped that I was smarter, stronger and more visionary than anybody I knew. By the age of nine, I didn't know exactly what I was yet. I sensed I might be some sort of different species. A super creature, if you will, who can manipulate, conquer and slay every monster in his path. If you are to kill monsters, you must learn to think like a monster. I did not begin to appreciate that perspective until the night of the explosion that cracked my head. The monsters had won that war against me by subterfuge and sabotage. When I landed in the Balkans as site to a NATO peacekeeping mission, the hatred I felt had no limits or depths to its dimensions. I was beyond different. I am infinitely superior to any other human. After what had been done to me, I didn't want peace, I wanted violence, I wanted sacrifice, I wanted blood. So perhaps you could say that fate intervened on my behalf within the first five weeks of my deployment. It was July, a late afternoon on a dusty road, 18 miles from Drina Valley and the besieged city of Srebrenica. I was riding in the passenger seat of a camouflaged Toyota Land Cruiser, looking out of the window, wearing a helmet and a flak vest. The bomb went off without warning. I can't recall the sound of the blast that destroyed the truck. I can still smell the explosive and the burning fuel and the flesh. Dusk had blanketed the land by the time I regained consciousness. Ears ringing, disorientated, nauseated. Beside me lay a submachine gun and an automatic pistol. It was dark by the time I could stand, pick up the weapons and walk. I staggered for several miles across fields and through forests before I came to a village somewhere. I heard something. Men were shouting somewhere in the darkness ahead of me. Those angry voices drew me. And as I went towards them, I felt my old friend hatred building inside my head. Irrational, urging me to slay somebody. <laughs>